Hello motherfuckers and welcome back to my motherfucking channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Madonna's Confessions on, on a dance floor. Madonna, oh sweet Madonna. It's been a while, um, but I'm back. I'm very excited about this. This came out in 2005. If you've been watching my videos the last like year or two like i've been having and still to this day a lot of euphoric vibes to 2005. i was seven years old at the time so like that was like my childhood okay all i do know is 2000s pop music is probably my favorite genre okay uh, yeah before i get into it um i have another channel i made a second channel for like vlogs and stuff in case you like my content but don't really listen to the artists that I review or whatever. If you want to subscribe, it's right here. Um, and there's a link in the descri description. Gavin Hendricks on YouTube. <sighs> Let's get into this. The first song is called Hung Up. Okay, I've heard a lot about this song. This eats. Wait. It's. Oh, yeah. oh. 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 Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm into this. I'm shook as fuck. That was a bob. That was a bob. And a very strong start to this album, Miss Madonna. It's giving... It's The thing is, it's not giving 2005. That's the thing. But, like, not in a bad way. I don't know. Like, 2005, in my opinion, the music was great for everyone. But this doesn't feel 2005. It feels Madonna. That's what it feels. It feels Madonna. Because she's timeless. She knows how to do... She knows how to fit in with an era. And... Uh, oh, that was good. Let's keep going, though. The next song is called Get Together. This, so far, an amazing album. And I'm only one song in. Let's go. Oh! That shit was sick. The, the, the production is sick. Oh, this is like, it's giving Kesha, Gaga, and Katie. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. The whole album is giving so far, okay? The, first of all, the album title is called Confessions on a Dance Floor. The first song she is talking about, she is hung up on this man. She really wants to be with this man. Coming into the second song, she wants to get with you. Madonna wants you. Okay? So it's like giving the album so far has like a theme. And I'm living. I'm living because the sound alone. Like I said, Katie Gaga Kesha. That's what I'm hearing with the sound in particular. Not the vocals. Nothing like that. It, this just sounds 
like an album that I grew up listening to, but I didn't listen to, if that makes sense. Like, the girls were definitely inspired by Madonna. As of right now, I can say this will probably be my favorite Madonna album. I love music and I loved American Life. Those were two very different albums for Madonna, but this is giving more of my taste. I love a good pop album and that's what this is giving so far so let's keep going the next song is called sorry okay let's go is this french oh this bitch is crazy this is giving like 80s low-key Oh, wow, this is good. G A. <laughs> the layeredness, it's the production for me. Oh. That was sick. That was good. That was delicious. Um, oh, I, it's going to be hard to pick a top five from this album. That's all I'm going to say. If you have a song titled Sorry, it better be good. And I can say that's good. I can check that one off the list. You can really hear the emotion behind her voice when she says, Please don't say forgive me. Like, she meant that when she said that. That was, I don't know. Like, I'm moved by that lyric in particular. But I feel like this was, like, one of the first albums of many. Like, I don't want to say that this is a generic pop album whatsoever. But this is a, what a lot of pop albums sound like. They stick with the theme. They go through it. And I mean, like, albums 2010s up. Like, this was one of the first, and it's eating because it's giving that beautiful, in my opinion, beautiful pop sound, but the messages behind the songs are just so, like, ugh, they catch you off guard, and they're so fucking good. Along with the great production, Madonna is just such a beautiful writer, and it all just fits and sounds so perfectly. Like, she knows what she's doing. Let's keep going. The next song is called Future Lover. Oh, excuse me. I'm curious. This is good. I like this. Oh. It's so, it's so vibes, it's vibes. Oh my God, the lyrics. About love. Would you like to try? Yes. Stop. Oh. So she's confessing her love for this person, saying, I can see it. The future love is the best love, and it's beautiful. She says, love controlled by time, future lovers shine for an eternity in a world that's free. That's, it's so poetic. It's so poetic. And a little dramatic, too, because I was like, in my head, like, I'm thinking visuals. I'm thinking, like a movie premiere in the 2000s. The 2000s was, in my opinion, <laughs> once again, unknown, known for having these good movies. For example, it's giving Austin Powers. I don't want that to come off as a bad thing. Austin Powers is legendary. Madonna has a song 
on Austin, an Austin Powers CD. Like, he, she was in the movies. Like, her song was in the movies type shit. And he was in one of her music videos. It was a whole thing. But that's what this is giving and in the best way possible. I am the biggest Austin Powers Madonna 2000 stan, okay? It just all feels so cinematic and dramatic. But let's keep going. I hope she continues with these, like, expressional lyrics. It's so heartwarming to me. The next song is called I Love New York. Let's go. It's giving Britney Spears in 1950. I don't know how I'm feeling about this song. Okay. I do like the... I do like that melody. It is sickening. It's sick! Uh, it's sick. Okay. I'm gonna keep it real. I was not feeling that song, 100% not feeling that song, but there were pieces that I liked throughout the song, for example, like the background noise, just city noise, kids playing cars, going by, honking, whatever. That's an aesthetic to me. I love that. The hustle and bustle of a city, it sounds good. The melody, a easily but i don't know i don't know what like i don't know where she was going with this i don't know what like is this like a new york's anthem she was trying to like write an anthem for new york go off what keeps drawing me back in i keep saying it is the production this album has like a psychedelic kind of like a vibe to it and i like stand like she's kind of been dabbling with the last two albums with the psychedelic stuff but this album is like really like it, the focus on it is sick. It's not too much, and it's just, its just, in my opinion, it's perfect because it's mixed with that pop sound, so it just sounds amazeballs. So that was good in it, but overall, I did not really like that song. But let's keep going. The next song is called Let It Will Be. Okay. Very professional. It's so bouncy. Ugh. It's so, that saying is so interesting. Let it will be. Oh, wow. Madonna knew what she was doing when she came into this. It's, this sounds, I say this with every Madonna album, okay? I know I say this, but each album sonically sounds so much different from the last. And this, it, it's moving me to a place where I remember listening to Radica for the first time. So it's like, ooh, it's, this is like, oh. Just to take it a step back, that, I love New York song. It was, it's just so out of place in the album. I think that's what I dislike about it. That thus far to that song, the album was going perfect. Like, the concept of the album was sickening, but then she just throws that in there. You know what? I'm not gonna hate, but I just didn't like it. But then you come into this Let It Will Be song, which I'm confused because it's like, first you're telling him that you're hung up on him and that you need to be with him, like y'all need to get together and that you see the future for your guys' selves and it's beautiful. But now you're saying, let it be. If it'll be, it'll be. I like that thought process too. I don't know where she's going with this. I don't know where she's taking us. But I just want to point out this beautiful setup of lyrics. Again, very poetic. I guess I'm not that far. I'm at the point of no return, just watch me burn. So dramatic, so poetic. Ugh. That was probably my favorite like lyric setup from this album, by the way. 
But I do want to know your guys' top five. I'm going to give my top five at the end of the album. But let's get on. The next song is called Forbidden Love, which I want to point out. She has a song, Bedtime Stories, called Forbidden Love. So it's just like, Madonna. Oh, let's go. Oh, and the beat from the last song to this song goes into... She's sick. Damn. Damn. Oh, it's sick. The build-ups are sick, by the way. I haven't even talked about those. Mm. Oh my god. So cyberpunk. Okay, so I want to I want to take a step back once again to that I love New York song because it's like she's trying to get with this man. She really is showing her love and her feelings, confessions for her man on this first couple songs. And she's just like, yeah, I love New York. And then she took a step back and said, wait, and now is questioning the love. Are we supposed to be together? Forbidden love? It's... It's, in, it's an interesting, intricate love story, love tale. So very interesting love story, very interesting take on said love story. I, again, I don't know where she's going with this, but I'm not mad. I'm enjoying the project. I'm loving, I'm loving, I'm loving. The next song is called Jump. Let's go. She, she draw, she's drawing you in with the beats, okay? Bye. Ooh, and yeah. I'm ready. Are you? Take my hand, get ready to jump. Sick. It's crazy how this album is this love dynamic, love story type sound, but it also has that crazy pop sound, but it also has that crazy psychedelic sound. But it's also a fun dance. Excuse me? But it's also a fun dance album you know so it's like not boring at all and i have to stand but now here we are after she's saying let it be after she's giving all her confessions to this man she's saying are you ready to jump she's ready to make a big decision in her life whether that is this relationship whether that is pursuing or leaving this person that she thinks she should be with and i'm prepared to stick beside her because if somebody is ready to do something doesn't matter how you feel about it. If they are very head forward to doing it, support them, period. <laughs> but it just continues to be a good vibe. Even though some of the songs are like kind of like bittersweet, it's still a good vibe. But let's keep going. The next song is called How High. It's funny because the last song was called Jump. He tells me to jump and I say how high. Madonna, you're not fooling me, buddy. Oh my God. The intro. Her name in lights. I know I keep saying she's different, but it's true. I said it before and I'll keep saying it again. 
She's different. She sounds different. She feels different. It's something to say when you can be in the music industry for 10 years, but if you can be in the music industry for 20 plus years, at this point in time, 20 plus years in her career, she's reflecting. I don't look at it as like bragging or like her trying to like get attention. I look at it as like, you should take the advice that she's giving. She's successful for a reason. You know, honestly, it was giving, she was re reflecting and asking herself, was it really worth it? And in my opinion, yes. Um, maybe not in her opinion at this time, maybe it wasn't worth it, but I think she's very thankful. It's interesting to see her thought process and her thoughts behind th this whole like conversation, you know? And I love that. And honestly, I think it fits perfectly into this album. Maybe she's not ready. In a weird way, it fits perfectly into this album. So it could kind of be a double entendre. She's asking how high are the stakes going with the concept of the album? How high are the stakes going into this relationship? being with you are the stakes high am i gonna get hurt in the end she's asking herself the long-term questions being long-term in the music industry i love that it's very interesting an interesting tick but let's keep going the next song is called isaac who's isaac wait is this like hebrew maybe it's kind of spooky, I'm not gonna lie. I love Madonna for doing this. I love this. Ooh. Will you ever be the same? She's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm in love. Oh, wait. Ah, the production, guys. This is so beautiful. Ooh. The ending of that song was so... It just brought that whole song together. I really am in love with that song, like genuinely. But speaking of the ends of songs, I wanna talk about the beginnings because she really has been drawing me in from the beginning of each beat. It feels like you're about to watch a movie. The way, like I said, the poetry that she's giving, it's giving me an easier way to like visualize these things in my head. And it's, it's beautiful. I'm seeing it's beautiful. It's so beautiful seeing her give this person this platform. Because you do not hear things like this in music, especially at this time. It was very different. It was very um, out of the box, not normal, especially for Americans. But Madonna is known for being out of the box. You can't put her in a box. And the way that they fit together so perfectly, it just it just goes to show Madonna is very a very versatile artist and very much willing to stretch herself to i wouldn't say fit any sound but she knows different genres and how to work her way around these genres and it just it sounds beautiful who is isaac i need to know that song is beautiful and her it's giving if i could melt your heart it's sick it's sick but let's keep going. The next song is called Push. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. This beat is sick. Wow. Yeah. 
That beat was so funky. I love. I wish there was more beats on here like that because when I first came in here, that's what I was expecting. But every time I listen to Madonna, I don't like to put my expectations somewhere because I know she's gonna like just take those and like throw them so far where I can't even see them every time. But I love the sound of that beat because that was like the most potent 2000 beat in here. I'm glad it all didn't sound like that though. Like the bubblegum dream pop, although that is like ugh, my favorite. <laughs> I'm glad that she came in and did it artistically. But this song goes with the concept of the album once again. She's in love with this person for multiple reasons and this is one of them. He pushes her to be the best her that she can be. She pushes her, she pushes, he pushes her, he pushes her. Even though she's already grown, she's been through so much, she still has things to learn. And for somebody to just come up to Madonna and tell her like, no bitch, hmm, maybe, and she's listening, hmm, maybe they're like meant to be. So let's keep going. The last song is called Like It or Not. Mm. This is literally Britney Spears. All of my food is yours to take. me, cause I'm never gonna stop. She's getting deep. Life is a paradox. <laughs> This, this feels 2000s, very mid 2000s. Oh, take me out. I love those sil the silence at the end of the song because it really makes you just reflect on what you just heard and that was good. This song reminds me of a song by Nicki Minaj. She has a song called, on her first album, Pink Friday, it's called Here I Am. And it's basically the same thing. You can love me, you can like me, you can hate me, you can dislike me, but that's not gonna stop my burning passion to do what I need to do, okay? And the fact that Madonna and Nicki, they were so confident with both of these songs, it makes me feel good inside. Like this is a song that I can sing really loud in the shower and come out and just feel like, that girl, you know, like that girl. I can't say that it ended off this album in a good way with the concept and stuff that they had going, but maybe it did because it could have had a double entendre meaning because we just came off the song where she was being pushed by somebody and she liked the fact that they were pushing her all to go down to love me or like me, I don't care. Maybe she doesn't want to be pushed. I don't know, but it's kind of giving a reflection of her career. With that being said, let's get into my overall review, my top five and my cover review and my rating of this album. If I could give one word for this album, it would be the word change because I feel like this album changed pop music. You know what, I'm gonna say it. A lot of people like to give it to Gaga and Britney. Although Britney and Gaga definitely had momentum during this era of pop music. This was 2005 before either of them dropped anything that sounded like this. So with that being said, Madonna was the first bitch to change music. Um, multiple times with from erotica to true blue type vibes like she has always been the head start okay and this album was just it was no different it was a beautiful dance pop psychedelic album and it has a beautiful amount of replay value and I think it's perfect for 2005 because it doesn't sound like 2005 it sounds timeless it doesn't feel like a, a album that can fit in a certain different, in a certain era, but it's perfect for 2005. It's very different from her other albums. It almost had a storyline through the whole thing, but she kind of chopped it up a little bit. But again, I'm not mad at that because the storyline was good. Even the songs that were chopped out of that storyline were still amazing. So it's not a bad album, but Let's get into my top five. I wanna know your guys' top five. I wanna know your thoughts on this whole album, by the way. My top five from Confessions on the Dance Floor by Madonna 
in no specific order are hung up, get together, sorry, future lovers, let it will be. These songs stood out to me. They were so moving. It Loki gave me nostalgic vibes, even though I've never heard any of these songs before. It was a moving, very moving project. No wrong top fives for this album because almost every song is perfect besides that I Love New York song. I don't know what she was thinking. But, I mean, go off. Okay, now my cover review of this album. I was excited to talk about this because it's a very interesting piece of work. First thing that re I really noticed that popped out to me was the orange hair. It's very fluent. Yeah, fluent. It's very much like just pouring down the back side of her body. It's very beautiful. Her skin is beautiful. She's doing this little like dance. This is from the Hung Up music video, I'm pretty sure. But what I love most about it is the background. The dots, they're giving so hard. It's giving, it's giving 80s, it's giving 70s, it's giving 2000s, and it's giving 90s at the same time. It's very much, it's very much beautiful. Like it's a perfect concept. Like. This is a perfect album cover in my opinion. Like this is a 10 in my opinion. The colors, I love the O and the Madonna. I'm probably gonna use that for like my thumbnail or something. I don't know, I'm gonna like, oof. I'm just excited to work with this because it's like very good material. Now I wanna talk about my rating of this album. I'm gonna give it an average score out of 10. And how I'm gonna get that is these five categories. Production, writing, album cover, vocals, coherency, or consistency of the album. Now, the production of the album, sick. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. That's what stood out to me most on this album. It was very much, I'm gonna use this word again, but fluent. It all sounded very smooth. The writing on this album, 10. Easily giving it a 10. It was very poetic. It was very much out there, expressive. I need you guys to go listen to this album with headphones and watch the lyrics as you listen because it's a whole different experience. Okay, now the album cover, I already told you how I feel about the album cover, 10 out of 10. Very sickening, very much, very much futuristic, but also nostalgic, but also like present. Mm. The vocals for this album, I was expecting a little more, but you know, I'm not, I'm not going to press her about it because Madonna has what is, isn't this like her ninth eighth ninth album this far this far on my channel but i was expecting a little more but again you can't expect much from a bitch that has been doing it for so long and this album wasn't really about vocals to be honest um she did sound good so i'm gonna give it an eight now the coherency or consistency of this album 10 easily each song flowed very well into each other. I almost gave this a nine because of that I Love New York song, but you know what? I'm gonna be nice. I'm going to give this to her. I'm gonna give this, a t I'm gonna give her a 10, but that I Love New York song, she needs to get it together. And my overall total for this album is a 9.6 out of 10, which is very, very well. She snapped, she ate, and it very much shows. That was so fun, you guys. I miss doing Madonna content so much. Um, but I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I want to know your guys' thoughts. It was a beautiful day to listen to this album. I feel very much inspired. Good vibes inside of me. Good energy going around me. Madonna did it once again. But make sure you guys follow me on all my TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Um, and I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Please like this video. That helps push it out to more Madonna fans. I want you guys to enjoy this album with me. Oh, but I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And bye, motherfuckers.